guys, welcome to another video. So today I'm going to be doing a set of press-ons for my left hand. I'm waiting for some tips to come off AliExpress. And they should be with me any day. So I don't want to put on a full set and have to take them off. Because I really want to use these new tips. So I thought I'll make some press-ons to wear for now, till they arrive. So I'm using the clear full cover coffin tips. And you'll see those tips are already buffed. I just find it easier to buff them before I stick them to my nails because this nail glue is not that strong I find if I buff them whilst they're stuck to my nails they end up pinging off everywhere so I'm using this Umix U194 which is a really pretty nudie pinky sort of colour really really nice colour and I'm going to apply a full coat of that on the thumbnail and the index and then on the middle nail and the pinky, I'm going to be doing a kind of colour block design. So I'll show you me doing the first coat and then I'll do a second coat of that off camera just to save time. So when I'm doing a colour block with gel polish, I lay the bulk of the gel polish down with the brush out the bottle and then I'll just go in with my detailer brush and neaten it all up. I just find if I was to apply it all with a detailer brush, it would take me forever. So it's just easier to get the bulk of the product down with the brush out the bottle. So now I'm going to go in with my detailer brush and I'm going to neaten all those lines up, make them all nice and straight and crisp. Now this top bit of the nail here, I want to do like, I don't even know what shape it is. I'm just going to let you watch this bit because I'll probably just confuse you even more. You can see what I'm doing anyway. So this is the Umix U072, which is their bright white and I love this white it is so opaque really really good quality white and I'm going to apply a full coat of that on the ring finger again I shall show you me doing the first coat and then I'll do the second coat off camera and then where all them clear blocks are I'm going to also fill them in with the white as well So this is the Umix matte top coat and I'm going to apply that on all the nails that's got white so the ring finger, the middle and the pinky and the reason I'm applying this matte top coat is because I'm going to be doing a sharpie marble on these white areas and I just find it's easier to do a marble with a sharpie on a matte surface you just get a much better effect so I'm going to cure that for 30 seconds and then I'm going to take my black sharpie 
and I'm just going to draw some squiggles all over the nails. Now, I don't want there to be too many of these. It just wants to be quite a subtle effect. So I've pulled out, this is just a little cleanup brush what I use, and I'm dipping that in some isopropyl alcohol, and I'm just dabbing that into that Sharpie, where I've done them lines, I'm just dabbing it, and that alcohol kind of disperses it. Now, I was faffing about with this for ages, I was drawing more squiggles, and then going back in with the alcohol, and I've not showed you the whole process because yeah I was really faffing with this but you just keep playing about with it until you're happy with it really that's the only way I can explain it but you do want to make sure when you are dipping that brush back into the alcohol make sure you clean the brush off first or else your alcohol is going to get all black and murky and it's just going to cause a great big mess so that's the marble all done now I'm applying some of this gold transfer foil onto the index finger and I'm just dabbing that into the tacky layer of that gel polish. I've not applied any foil glue or anything on this. I wanted this to be quite messy looking. No, not messy looking, more patchy looking. Actually, I was really happy with how that turned out. I love that nail. So now I'm going in with some gold striping tape and I'm just going to outline all of those marble areas. And on the ring finger, I just want a little bit of gold striping tape at the tip of that nail. I absolutely hate striping tape. I love the look of striping tape, but I hate applying the stuff. They, they don't stick very well, and then when you come to top coat, it wants to lift. And when you are top coating over this striping tape, guys, you want to make sure that your top coat encases around it. Because if your top coat doesn't encase around it, then you're going to get peeling, it's going to start to peel, it's going to start to lift, and then you're going to start picking it. So yeah, make sure that when you're cutting this striping tape, you're cutting it just short of the edge of the nail. Then when you come to top coat, it should encase around the end of that striping tape. I was hoping I was going to be able to do this bit in one piece, but it didn't work out. So I ended up having to do it in three pieces, but it actually it ended up turning out all right. I thought you was going to be able to see the joins, but you couldn't see them in the end. I was really happy with it. So now we're going in with the Umix No Wipe Shiny Top Coat, and I'm going to apply that to all five nails. And then before I pop them in the lamp to cure, I'm going to stick a couple of crystals. I'm going to stick one little crystal on the pinky and then three on the thumb and then I shall pop them in the lamp to cure for 30 seconds. Now I nearly forgot about this nail. I started packing everything away and thought, shoot, I've not done the nail art on this nail. So I'm using the Madame Glam white gel paint to do this. And the reason I'm using that is because I don't need to top coat over the top of this. This cures without a tacky layer. So yeah, once I'd finished this, they're ready to go. So I'm just painting some kind of leaf design. Now, why is it the most simplest designs are the hardest ones to do. It's a bit like flames. Flames look so easy to paint. Then when you actually come to paint them, they don't look right. And I find the same with leaves as well. And it's because the stem is curved. If I'm to do a leaf design on a straight stem, I don't struggle. But the minute I do a curved stem, 
and I want the leaves to look like they're going a certain way, I just struggle. So yeah, just try not to look at them too much, please, guys. <laughs> So that's the leaves all painted. I'm going to cure them for 60 seconds. And that is them all done. What do you think? I really, really like that marble. As long as it took me and as much faffing as it took me, I really, really love that marble. What do you think, guys? And I really like the effect of that gold foil as well. It's a bit abstract, do you think? Kind of abstract design. I really, really like them. And I'm so pleased that I'd done them on full cover tips because if I was to do them on my own extensions I'd have to obviously file the design away when I come to redo my nails. At least this way I get to keep them and I can just stick them on whenever I want. Love that idea. Everything that I've used today I shall leave in my description box below guys along with any discount codes that I've got. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, I'd love it if you would. Don't forget to hit the little notification bell with your notifications turned on. That way you'll never miss an upload. And I hope to see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.